With larger families, though, the plane ticket prices, like for a family of six. Yeah. How are you making that feasible? I know you're big into travel hacking credit cards. Is that your magic strategy? Do you have a magic strategy? How are you? How would you recommend families, larger families, to think about plane travel? Yeah. So yeah, that is definitely an expense to consider. Um, I kind of I look at it a few different ways. One is the time thing. Um, I just think it's faster to fly somewhere generally. You know, depending on how far away it is, obviously, but you know, um, for us to drive from here to Orlando, say is like, it's like a literally a day, um, and then a day back. So that's like two days of a trip. And, um, I think, you know, now for me, you know, I, I work for myself. Um, I can take off whenever I want, you know, within reason. Um, but my kids are in public school. My wife's a, you know, a public school educator. So they are stuck to a certain schedule. Um, and, you know, they only have so many days off or whatever. So it's like, that's a waste to me. I would rather just, you know, yes, it does cost more sometimes. Um, part of that is just looking for deals. Part of it is planning way ahead of time. Um, part of that is having a travel budget so that you have that money ready to go when you need to. Um, and then I think, um, you know, we try to fly on certain airlines that are more family friendly. Um, maybe don't cost as much. Um, for me, when I fly though, like we were huge into credit card rewards and things like that, but like, we are not like, you know, getting luxury, you know, uh, you know, benefits and things like that's not our thing. Like we're point A to point B travel hackers. Like we just want to get from here to there. And then we, and then we'll enjoy everything, you know, sure. We love the, you know, extra amenities and things like that. But, um, so when we do use travel rewards, one of my goals, um, I don't try to pay for everything with it is one of my things. So depending on where we're going, um, like, for example, this upcoming summer, we are going to be going out to California, um, trying to do maybe like a LA to San Diego type trip. Our kids want to do a ton of stuff in LA, so it may just be LA. Um, but you know, my goal is to cover the flights at least with travel rewards and then, you know, use our travel budget for the rest of it. Maybe we'll use rewards for, you know, Airbnb, something like that. Um, but I don't try to pay for everything with travel rewards. Um, you know, there's no difference between like a couple doing travel rewards and a whole family other than you just need more of them, you know, really. Um, so, and it just requires more time and more effort, maybe more cards to pull that off. Um, so that's kind of how I look at it. Um, for the most part, most of our trips recently have involved um, flying though. I appreciate that because I do feel like sometimes there's internal pressures to be like, I got to cover this entire trip, right? On points and miles. And I'm like, that's like 500,000 miles yeah. <laughs> or it's, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, and I'm sorry, but travel hacking is not my full-time job. So yeah. uh, I love that reframe perspective that you have a goal of, of what you would like your travel rewards to cover. And then you have your travel budget to take care of everything else. Right. Yeah. So I love that. It's simple. It's also, yeah, very simple. I think having a, you know, travel budget, you know, setting aside money each month for uh, travel, I think it just takes some of the, you know, pressure off and, and just provides some relief to know that there's something there. Cause you know, I think all parents would want to, you know, to give their kids cool experiences um, and, you know, travel's part of that. And, but there's this like stress, like if you don't have the money for it, like, but your kids, you know, hear about other friends going to places or like, you know, they see stuff on TV or social media and they're like, oh man, that would be so cool to go there or whatever. And, and like, you can get like this pressure as a parent to like, try to, you know, give your kids these unbelievable experiences. And like I said, throw it on a credit card and then like, months later you're like oh my gosh how am i gonna like how am i gonna pay this off like i'm getting all these interest charges and like i'm in debt just because i wanted to take my kids on a trip um and one of the things i'll say is that like 
you don't have to travel far to travel. Like you, like, like we live outside of Cleveland. Like Cleveland just has like a ton of stuff for us to do. You know that like, you know, when we first were, you know, when our kids were younger and we didn't have as much money and didn't have a travel budget yet. Like we were just doing local and regional stuff. We were finding free events. We were doing anything we could to just piece together some kind of experiences for our kids. So, you know, you do the best with what you got, you know, and that's part of, if you, you know, if you want to travel more, create a travel budget and set money aside that, you know, whatever you can. And then, you know, when opportunity comes up, then see if it fits, you know, 